40 Growing Plant and Flower Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! Uh, today's video is inspired by Earth Day, even though it's not something that you could only wear for Earth Day, you could definitely wear this any time of the year. I do have other Earth Day videos that are more Earth Day specific and I will put some of those in the description box below. Otherwise, for this one, it is a cute little terracotta pot that has three different plants in it, or three different ages of a, of a flower. So it's got the little sprout and then it has one that's a little bit taller with a flower bud on it and then it's got the one that has the flower that's opened up. So for this one it's going to be showing you how I made the whole thing, terracotta pot all the way through all the plants. I do have a very similar set of nail videos that is one uh, making a flower vase and then making three different kinds of flowers that you can put in your vase. So I'll put links to those in the description box below that I made about a year ago and I, as soon as I made that one I had thought I should really make this one because I the idea just seemed like it made sense to make one that was a flower pot that was a little growing flower, but I never got to it until now. So I hope you guys like this and don't forget to click subscribe. See all my future videos as well. So to begin with, I decided to start with an overlay of a, an overlay of sky blue, not an overlay. I don't know where that came from. An overlay of sky blue acrylic, just so that it kind of has, I don't know, it kind of goes with the whole flowers, earth day, you know, this pot could definitely be inside. It's a little flower pot. It could be anywhere, but I liked the blue and I wanted my flowers to be pink. So blue and pink goes together. And then I'm going to be encasing the nail with a layer of clear acrylic just to make sure it is nice and strong and is going to have, you know, it's not going to break. It's going to have a nice apex on it and everything like that. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to be filing the nail into shape. And I used my e-file for this. And I'm just going to start with a coarse bit that's got a really nice football type shape on it. That is my favorite bit, especially for going around the cuticle area. Um, all the way around the perimeter of the nail basically it does a beautiful job of smoothing that down and then with a fine bit just going through and removing any of those little surface scratches that that other one may have left behind take a brush handle that is tapered so kind of it's thicker and then it kind of just gets thinner and thinner and thinner and then wrap it pretty tightly with some plastic wrap and use that to sculpt around for your your little flower pot base the reason you want one that's tapered is because a terracotta pot is wider at the mouth of the pot so it's bigger around at the top than it is at the bottom so you want it to have that tipped in sides or the tapered sides appearance which you need to have so then holding that up against a nail form backing fill in the bottom of it with some brown acrylic same brown that you used to make the other the top of the pot add a magnet into the bottom of it so you have the magnet that's in the bottom of the pot that you can't really see glue your flower pot to the nail so that magnet is still in the bottom of the flower pot. You can't, like I said before, you can't see it, It's, but it's in there. And then go ahead and fill in any of the gaps around the edges of the flower pot with some more of that brown acrylic just so that it really seals it down and there's no, no wide open gaps. So this is just the first layer. As you can see, the brown of my, the brown acrylic that I'm using is a little darker than most terracotta pots are. What I'm going to do in just a moment is I'm going to brighten it up and it's going to give it a much more dimensional appearance but use a darker brown to start with and then take and just with another bead of that dark brown just make the rim of the pot so just take a bead and then press it out right around the top edge just to give it that thickness because they also have that nice brim on them if you wanted a lot of terracotta pots also have the the little saucer and you could sculpt that on there too i just decided to leave mine as it was so then, like I said, I added a highlight. So I have a peachy color and I'm just going to, with very thin acrylic, just go over the whole brown, which as you can see, it just makes it look a little bit brighter, a little bit more of that terracotta color, but it gives it a lot more dimension to it and gives it almost the appearance, the texture of a terracotta pot by doing those two layers of color. I took some brown paint and I just went through, or black paint, I mean, I just added a couple outlines to the pot, then apply a layer of gel sealer around the entire background, and then matte top coat, which I apparently decided or missed showing you over the top of the terracotta pot. So now I have three pieces of wire that are cut so that they are three lengths, short, medium, and long, and you're going to bend them into little S shapes. So just kind of take, you know, your fingers and tools and whatever it is that you want to use to bend your, your wire into the shapes, but just give them a little curve in them in each piece of wire. So do that on all of them going down. And I did use some tools to help me out with this. The wire that I'm using is aluminum. So it's very easy to bend. It's jewelry wire, very easy, very easy to bend into larger shapes. These smaller ones, it does kind of get a little bit, I don't know, sore on your fingers if you try to bend them too much. So if you do have some tools, I would recommend using them. Then after you have your three pieces of wire bent, go ahead and paint both sides with a one-step green gel polish, curing it after you, so paint one side, cure them, and then paint the other side. So after they are completely cured and completely green, place a magnet on the bottom of your flower pot and then mark the side that's down. And then that's the side that you want to be down on. So then 
You want that down on your mat while you're working and then glue each stem to one of these magnets on the side that is not marked. So you still have the little mark on the bottom of your magnet. After they each are glued on, secure them with some clear acrylic and so now you have magnets on the base of each of your stems. Then on a nail form backing on the shortest one, you're going to want to make your little leaves. So I started with the same, a very similar shade of green as the green gel polish that I used for my stick and just sculpt your leaves. The smallest one doesn't really have any, doesn't have much to it. It's just two leaves, very simple, no flower bud at this point. So that's the shortest, the shortest stem. And I started with the shortest one. I kind of worked my way, worked my way bigger as it was growing. I don't just seem to make sense to start with it as a little sprout and then sculpt it getting bigger as it would get bigger. And so then the second one, you're going to want to make the flower bud at the very top of your stem and then add a couple leaves just like the leaves were on the flower or on the smaller one. And so you just kind of build up and can increase in size and match it. So you kind of have to imagine it getting bigger and bigger. So as you're making your leaves, as you can tell, they kind of spread out and they fan out as the acrylic is sitting on the nail form backing. So you have to kind of play with them until they start to set, which is fine. I mean, it gives you some time to, to work. And you just kind of have to keep pressing them in and in and kind of get kind of just work with them to get them into the shape of the leaf that you're going for and also take the edge of your brush and press into the very center of the leaf just to create that create the little indent for where the center vein would be and then take a little bit more of that bright green acrylic to add just a little base of the little leaves that are around the bottom of your bud just doesn't take too much just a little bit of green to make it look like it's got those, so three, three little leaves around the bottom. So then on the longest wire, you're going to want to make your big pink flower. So start out with just, I just placed down a bead of pink acrylic right at the top of the stem. And then I flattened it out into a circle. And then I took the tip of my brush and pulled it in a whole bunch of times so that it kind of created those little petals. You have to work pretty quickly when you're doing this because the acrylic will start to set and then it won't pull in as smoothly as it would have if you would have, you know, worked on it a little quicker. So as soon as you set that bead down, start doing that. Then with a darker shade of pink, so this one is actually more of like a berry color, an orchid color, but just, you know, you need to have layers on your, layers on your flower, much like you need layers to an onion. So just add a second layer of petals. This one, like I said, a little bit darker of a color. You can either go darker or you can go lighter. So you could done, um, you could have done white feathers in the middle or, you know, you could just switch it up so it's not the same, the same thing. After you have those two layers of petals, you're going, you're going to need to add the leaves to your stem, just like the other ones. Like I said before, you want to try to get them to match so that they, it does look like it's the same flower going all through these different stages of life. You don't want it to look like it's the same kind of flower, just a different plant. You want it to look like it's the same one at a different point in its life. So same thing, make the leaves, press them out from the center, make sure that they maintain that shape all the way through as they're setting, which sometimes is easier said than done, especially when you're working next to the wire. And then you're going to want to take a little bead of pastel yellow and set that right in the center of your flower for the middle. Then I added a dark green line down the center of each of the leaves for the stem or for the vein, I mean, with acrylic paint and added little white highlights on the edges of each petal for just a little with white acrylic paint just for a little highlight so just go through and add little dashed lines to do this it's very easy I kept my flower very simple I kept this whole thing very simple and cartoony and just kind of fun and then in the middle of the flower I added a little um, a little series of polka dots same thing on the next on the next smallest I kind of worked my way backwards I started out with the smallest one and worked bigger and then I started with the biggest one and worked smaller but you're going to want to add details to your green portions of your flower with green and then add the little white highlights to the tip of the blossom and then go through, or the bud I mean, and then afterwards you're going to want to add a layer of gel sealer over the top of each flower, that or each part of the acrylic, so the leaves and then the flower and the bud. And after those are cured, they're all done and you can switch them out and play with them. Uh, this is so much fun. Like I said, I do have something very similar that was a flower vase that these designs are so adaptable that you can switch it out. I had another idea to make tomatoes as they were growing. So if you decide to do something like that, please share recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.